people class welcome to today's new review of Gundam Thunderbolt so I know that he's a little bit naked right now but there's a reason for that I hated taking off the armor I originally had him in his box with the armor on so yes I know this is starting off bad but you know what I don't care I want to be honest with you I absolutely adore mobile suit I mean the build was fantastic the instructions were oh I love this guy I love the show I loved it so much that I watched it the whole first and second season when I was building this. I love this model suit, but I also have my gripes with it. The first gripe that I have with it is that it's it kind of makes me scared at times and if you don't have the garbage bags on the shoulders it does show the literal inner frame which is not that strong to be very very honest with you like yes it can hold the poses nicely so the problem with the inner frame is that is it a bad inner frame no but so as you can see with how tiny that shoulder joint is i cannot tell you with full honesty that i like to pose him it's a little risky for me. The other problem that I have is it's tight. I won't lie to you to say that the joints are, oh, they're so bad, they're finicky, they're loose. No, they're just very, they're not the strongest plastic, but they can hold their own weight. I won't say when I put on all the weapons and armaments, it's going to be like some amazing feature that I can have because they're so light that they can just, you know, support a dang grown elephant on it. No, it can't, especially because the weapon's inhibited, which I will later the other thing I would be very careful of is the skirts they aren't I don't want to say they're not the best quality the hinge system is loose it's a nice fit but it's not snug nor is it tight so if you move the skirts too much do be careful but the one cool thing is that they do open up all of them open up on sides without a problem my side skirts are a little bit more loose than the front ones I don't know why that might just be my model kit same with the butt before the base mobile suit they literally just spoiled us here like the hips man these are some of the strongest joints I have ever messed with I love the hip system it's a whole joint I don't know what to call this big thing but it slides up and Ooh, this is also another problem we'll get into later slides up and down <sighs> it slides up and down very very smoothly with a nice grip uh oh uh, okay so yeah now you're starting to see the faults with this kit but anyways the posability spectacular I, I just I have no problems with the range and what it's able to do I mean yes the, I complain about the inner frame but can it hold its own weight yeah in this form of course without the giant backpack on. Now I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of want to put the garbage bag on. But not really. Just work with it and you'll be fine. You won't really have any problems. Then the other thing to be cautious of is, yes, this mobile suit, there goes another one, is built on a core block. So when you're messing with the torso, don't be like me and just hanging it out. Do take care of it. The other thing that I like about this mobile suit is just how much it respects the actual mobile suit in the movie or the TV show, whichever one you watch, whichever one you prefer. And just the looks, the style and the colors. This is one thing that I'm learning with the Black Series figures that I've been doing more and more shorts of is that, yeah, understandably, like, this is Bandai. I mean, they specialize in coloring, you know, parts. They don't specialize in coloring whole action figures. Well, unless you talk about the other lines, but we're not talking about other lines. We're talking about Gundam model kits that I absolutely adore is the look of the eyes. I mean, that is just piercing yellow absolutely gorgeous stunning the other cool thing is that it comes with the core block that slides out nicely don't think you need to be scared of it i mean this whole time i've been shaking it it didn't fall out so not a problem it does have some small landing gears that you can mess with. I'm not really going to mess with it too much just because I don't see a point and I don't want to. This is also my dad's. This is not mine. I got this and built it for him. It's a nice click once you get in there. But putting it back together, simple, super easy. And dude, look, you see, it's tight. I love that feeling. 
Oh my gosh, it is so much better than some other model kits I heard. But then I heard some people having trouble. It's like, oh, it's loose. But no, dude, like that's on their tight. Because of that, there is no ab crunch. There's just swivel. Here's the other thing. There is so much detail on this. The problem with it is that it is such tiny parts that you can't really avoid it. Is it the biggest problem in the world? No. Can you glue these? Yes. And would that solve the problem? You know, maybe. Because they're on such small pegs. It can work. I'm not saying it won't, but it could. But before I put the armor on this guy, I just want you guys to know that the build process is so worth it. I'm tired of people riding and saying, oh, this kit is terrible. Like even with what I'm saying, I have to give this kit good praises more than bad, especially the head. I am really going in too much depth in this, but I just love it, especially that little piece on the side of the head. And before I put the armor on, I wanted to go over the beautiful mechanics of the backpack. So first off, looking at it it just looks like a giant bag which i can promise you it's not it does have i shouldn't say fully it has a rotation for the fuel thrusters not that much these are literally just pegged in through a hole to this joint so you can't really go up or down you can't really detach it either but you can get you know enough it does have a beam saber on both sides the cannons are held in you know kind of weirdly so they just slot into this piece the connection isn't the best but you know it works it does have a little bit of side to side and mostly just goes out rather than in because of course it will collapse with the backpack i'm fine with that the building of this is very very strong just so you know, so you don't have to worry about it. Even though these are tiny small parts, the joints will last you a while. Do get a little bit of rotation here, kind of. So you can see, that's how the joint is built. It's mostly only meant to go up and down, but also rotate, which it, nah. I probably won't tell my dad that's a joint, but it is nice with amazing detail. And if I panel lined it, painted it a little bit, it would look a million times better though. Now for the missile pack, this is the thing that I had the biggest problem with. So nice things about it is that one, it has opening missile bays and those are tight. So you don't even need to worry about that. It is a solid brick, but that's probably the best thing. And it has the same amount of articulation, just going in the opposite direction. Now, if you remember, Remember in the show movie, he had these things, which are like deployable missiles, I believe, or chaff flares or whatever it is. And I just love the fact that they added. Did they need to? No, they could have made it like the high grade of where it was hidden. It didn't move. Now for the arms, the arms are also cool. So they have a beautiful slide out method. I mean, absolutely. I sometimes forget that they're even there. It's that good to me. You have a swing out joint there and then another one at the base of the handle and then another one at the other arm and then a joint here. So you can get a pretty dang good amount of range. And it does open grab, which is for the shield, which I will show later. I wish I could have showed you what it was like putting it away, but it was a little tricky. Just remember that some of the parts have tabs and then a swinging rounded arm. Remember that those two need to go over each other and then the rest of it just folds into itself. And my favorite part is how it closes onto the back. So I thought, oh, it's just gonna be a peg, but no, this is held in by friction. I wish that they added this kind of feature to more mobile suits, but of course, since this is a version Kotoki, before I put on the armor, I wanted to show you guys a few things. So this is the shoulder pod, the chest, and the ab armor covering. Do you know that they're not weak, but the connection is fragile in some of the small pieces. Like in here for the vent covering, the best way I can say to do it is of course follow the tabs that are your lifesaver, especially when you're building this guy straight from the box. It is such an easy fit and it's in there snug. The only reason why it fell out is because I dropped when he was up here Which I'll get into later and the other cool thing is that the under armor is on a kind of swivel I mean, it's like oh, why did you add the swivel when there's no ab rotation? I think it's maybe just to get this into place to fit onto the chest section better. Oh my gosh. That's what I mean by he's fragile in some cases. But he's easily put back together with a nice little snap. So if we're putting on the armor, I'm not gonna talk. We just wanna focus on it just to show you how. I don't wanna say difficult, but intricate it is.
As I'm running the corners, waiting for the way to take me across all the borders. Riding like the wind, going down with a warning. Just ain't enough for me. All the stuff that we've done is been hasted. So many times, and this is Thunderbolt all armored up. So, I'm putting on the armor. You know, in some places, like the shoulders, the arms, the, the crotch and the butt, you know, it wasn't that bad. The main problems I have with the armor were here, which I just got that wrong. And then the feet are literally just slid on. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of a grab on there, but if you really shake him around, he does not keep it on. And the other problem is his standing is not that great. So this is him flat. He doesn't even have anything on his back and he's still kind of lean. So that's the other reason why when I put the backpack on, I'm not gonna leave it on. And with the backpack, even though it looks complex, it's really not. So there are little sliding teeth in there that go on the grabbing parts or the extended parts of the backpack. And it's a very, very tight connection as I was referencing earlier. So all you do is slide it in nice and gently and then it collapses and voila. Even with somehow getting this onto the base, I don't know how it did it. It's not the greatest thing. If you shake it even a little bit, it will fall off. And do know that yes, the stain is included, but it's literally just on an open part. I don't even want to twist it because I don't want this guy to fall. As soon as I'm done with this review, he's going back in the box. But I do gotta say the presence and the sheer width and just mass that he has is something that I love with the Thunderbolt. I absolutely adore it. And I really don't have anything else to say about it. Other than do I wish that some of the joints were stronger, some of the other parts were better, yes. I'm happy with what's present though, despite it. And yes, I will be putting on the other armaments. I just wanted to put the backpack on before I had to take it off and on again. Now for the armaments, this is the thing that I love the most. This is one, if not the only mobile suit or model kit that I built that can have everything on it other than the backpack and still pose amazingly well. I mean, there's not a single little bit of droppage. I mean, yeah, I can't really move them because the feet, as you can see, are literally just on the edge of the edge. But the fact that you can hold them up in comparison to my perfect grade Banshee that can't even hold up his shield or his beam rifle, I respect this mobile suit and this model kit far more than a perfect grade. One thing I am happy to say though is that with my Master Grade Mark II Gundam that I threw away a long time ago, I still have the base and somehow, some way, with no support, I was able to get him into this launching pose. I absolutely love it. And yes, as you can see, he is very, very shaky. I'm very worried that he will fall when I do this, but I wanted to do it just so you can see the various poses that you can get. I never ever thought that you'd be able to do this with this guy. Would you look at that? I wish I could show you guys him a different, better angle. Also didn't realize that those are falling over, but I'll just leave him there for now. But it is possible to have all four shields on him at once. And the arms are holding it nicely. Just know that because there's such a small connection point, don't trust it. Like, oh, if I touch or whatever, it's gonna be fine. Don't. Also know that since they just go up and down with a little bit of rotation, you might have to twist the joints on or in the backpack to be able to really get them flaring out. But eh, I mean, with what I was able to do, I think that's more than enough. But this is where I'm gonna end the video because I just don't really see this guy as someone that I can really pose or want to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.